Hey there, Lincoln Ruffers! Welcome to a very disorienting video, because this is not my couch, this is not my guitar, and this obviously isn't a dog. Uh, so what's going on here? What's going on here is I'm at a friend's house, and he's got this guitar, which he doesn't play, it used to belong to his uncle, and it's just been lying around, and it's out of tune. Not only is it out of tune, it's in need of a setup, so it's buzzing like crazy. But... If you listen closely, this is kind of a nice chord, isn't it? Okay, and that's what got me thinking. Exploration. And if I try, you know, normal chord shape, I get nice sounds, but pretty, you know, modern jazz sounds. Okay, uh, that's not what I'm going for. I want this harmony. Now, I, I have not checked what these notes are. I have no idea what this tuning is. And that's what I want uh, to show you. I want to show you that you can make great music with guitars that are out of tune. Now this is a very lucky tuning. Because sometimes guitars are terribly, terribly out of tune, but you can make awesome music with that as well. Now, I don't want to go to weird sounds, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you how you can use an accidental harmony to create awesome music. Now listen to it. Yeah, this bass note is amazing. Because this chord, it's kind of a suspended chord, depending on the bass. It can be a minor at 9, it can be a major 7, but even if you don't recognize the harmony, that's even better. Okay, this is kind of a very lucky open tuning, isn't it? So when you stumble upon something like this, you have to start exploring. You have to, as a musician, because it throws you off. You have no idea what you're going to play, you have no idea how it's going to sound. And that's a great opportunity. That's a great opportunity to open your ears to new experiences, to completely escape what you used to play on the guitar. Now, as we all know, uh, the starting point would be to find a certain scale, but finding a full scale with this tuning might take a while, and I don't want that. I want to be surprised. So I'm gonna try to find a couple of notes per string, or even one note per string. So I'm gonna start with the second fret. And it works works on the second string, works on the third, works on the fourth, works on the fifth, and works on the sixth. I told you, this is a very lucky tuning. I mean, what are the chances of that? On, on most accidental tunings, you'd have one or two strings on the first fret. Okay, where the, the diatonic note would be there. But here we can use the second fret all around. That's very, very lucky. Now again, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I have not checked what these notes are. I have no idea what this chord is. So immediately I can hammer on and pull off the second fret. It would be very, very lucky if it's the same fret on the next note. Okay, so I'm gonna try, because it sounds major to me, I'm gonna try 2 and 4. Okay, because it's a major scale. Now when you have 2 and 4, you know that the next notes are 5 and 7, because it's the third note of the scale that matters, right? It's either a minor or major note. So if it's 4, Okay, then the next two notes would be half step up and step up. Now let's let's hope that it's four on the second string. And it is. So again, that's a very lucky tuning. And I know that I have five and seven on both. So, immediately, 
we have material to do around with. On the next string, if it's gonna be four, I'm gonna be very surprised. No, it's three. Because if it's not four, then it's three. If it's not one note, then it's either one of the notes around it. So it's two, three, and five. I'm gonna try three on the fourth. Okay, just to maintain. Okay, and that's right. You can hear the buzzing, but ignore it. So now I have some sort of a scale to work with. Ah, and if I'm if I play two on the fifth string, that's the open fourth. It's the same note. Okay, but I, if it's the same note, and I have two here, then I'm gonna have four here. Okay, because so it's the same thing. So it's two and four on the fifth, and it's two and four on the sixth. So it's two and four, and strings one and three, and on strings five, uh, five and six. And on strings three and four, I have two and three. Now this is my basic information. This is what I'm gonna use. And again, very lucky coincidence, four on the sixth string is the right bass note for the chord. That's way more information than I need in order to start making music. single notes and open arpeggios, open strings. Just slowly. I don't care about rhythm, I don't care about bars. I'm just exploring, I'm just having fun. Right? Just opening my ears to new experiences. Now I play 12 because it's always an octave, so 12 would be the octave. You can use harmonics if you like. I only played three and I got a blues note. But I want to stick to the to that major seven sound with this guy. But this can get tired really fast because we can't change the chord. I mean, this is a weird chord, so if we try to bar, it's probably not going not gonna to work. You see it? It's nice, but you can't really do anything with it. Maybe nine. But again, this is too complex a chord to move around. So we're stuck with the open tuning, which is again, very, very nice. So we can start building harmonies with the notes we have. So we can take strings one and four, okay? Because they're far enough apart, so if the harmony doesn't work, okay? Then it still, still gives you enough distance between the notes to get something nice out of it. that we 
have three on the fourth and four on the first, so we can use this. Or we can use five, five on the fourth and four on the first. It's up to us which harmony we want to make. Same for two and three. regular sort of harmony, so let's try the same fret. On 2 and 2 it works. On 3 and 3 it wouldn't work because again, you have 3 on the 3rd, but you have 4 on the 2nd, so that's what we're gonna play. 4 and 3, and it works. Now 5 and 5 might work. when you have when you have an accidental tuning okay so five on the sixth ring doesn't work so six with crazy from this point. So I'm gonna leave you to your exploration with accidental tunings. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.